Hey guys, Matt here, and welcome to another Living With Bladder Ecstasy vlog. Now this one, um, I'm not going to be really talking much on a certain subject, but I'm just going to talk a bit about my life to you guys. It may help someone, it may not, but I just want to get down onto a personal page and just open up a little bit about what it's like for me to be with bladder atrophy and what what life's been like for me and being a 37 year old man in Australia how I feel and what it has felt like you know I was born in February of 1986 and you know I had the really good doctors that helped me as a baby and um, apparently my life growing up at those stages were pretty decent and good had all had several operations due to a lot of complications here and there sometimes and um, but it's a normal part of butter extra fee and you know what really makes my life a little bit more difficult and sometimes a bit more harder than others. I'm not saying that other people have had an easy walk. It's not an easy walk. It's a hard, difficult walk with this condition. And yeah, um, for me, schooling was no, not good at all. Um, I've got no memories of my childhood. My brain has blocked out everything due to my medical incidences and also schooling incidences. And I can only re rely on stories, what happened and what my mother and father told me. Um, going through primary school was not good for me at all. I was teased and bullied on a daily basis, which played a big impact in my mental health then. Um, and it really played a toll. My schooling struggled. I did not do well in spelling or writing. My handwriting skills are shocking. And that's not good. You know, I've tried so hard to fix that as an adult and hasn't really worked. It's been a struggle, big, big struggle for me. And it's hard. It's been very hard. Um, back to school. Um, yeah, it's been, it was rough, it was tough and... Like I said, I was bullied on a daily basis. I was really upset. Had no friends at school. Had no one to back me up. And what does that feel like now as an adult? I felt I was let down. Um, yeah, the school tried to do what they could, but not all schools can cope with what happened. And it sucks to be bullied. It was. It sucks to be targeted because of learning difficulties and a birth defect, which you can't control. You know, that sucks to, for me. And you know, I've tried so hard to not think about it, but it always I always think about what happened. And how it affects me. You know. Nearly being killed on the playground. You lose trust in children sometimes. And kids can be cruel. Too cruel. Look what they did to me. You know. It really, really affects me. And does it affect my bladder atrophy? Of course. Because of what they have done, you know, they nearly killed me, they wrapped a rope around my neck, and then 
they stop teachers stopped it or something I don't know something I'm just glad to be here on earth still but another thing that really bugged me is when I was told that my pants were pulled down and they exposed my male parts and they made fun of it I can't help the way I am honestly that that really hurts to find out what they did you know can I forgive them I don't know because does it affect them no has it affected their daily lives no did it affect me yeah do I ponder on it yes does it ponder on them what they did no of course not then they just brushed it off and went away from doing their daily thing of bullying me again you know it sucks that things like that happen and what I'm trying to say is if any of your children are being bullied or teased at school confront the school because the mental trauma that all that physical trauma turns into mental and it can affect someone when they're an adult and I'm not saying all kids with blood or atrophy are being bullied or teased but the few that are that are I feel their pain and I know what they're suffering they're going through so just try and be there for your child please um hospital hasn't been any hasn't been any better I've had dramas in being in a hospital I've had weird and rude comments from nurses um and stories from my mother when I was a kid in hospital um all the trauma in there has been all blocked out you know I don't remember anything to do with hospital at all that I guess it's a good thing because as a child who has to have surgery that puts a lot on their mind and the brain has to cope somehow so the brain blocks out all of the trauma I just wish I did have a little bit of memory though it hurts that I can't have anything and that drives me insane because you know you hear people talk and they say oh hell's I can remember blah 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 and it hurts because you can't recall anything Uh, another thing that really hurts is what my mother used to do to me as a little boy something little boys should not go through with their mother being sexualized and all of that I don't want to go into detail because it's gonna hurt me too much to try and explain everything but let's just say a mother should not comment on someone who has a birth defect and has issues with their genitalia I'll just leave it at that that affects me still today and I just don't know how I could help someone else with this but I'm just saying it hurts and I just don't know how I'm gonna cope and I just wish I was a normal person in ways I wish I wasn't born with blood or atrophy because of all the crap that has gone through in my life has been rough and it's a challenge for me to try and focus on positive depth stuff but this is such a negative video I know 
but I'm just trying to let people know that the rough side of things, the negative side of things that some people do have, and I'm one of them, and this really hurts me and right here because it's hard for me to get support that I want I get a little bit of help from my GP I get not much help from my family that really upsets me and not getting help from my father as well now sucks I'm not allowed to talk about all my medical problems anymore he's allowed to talk about his but I'm not my bladder extra feast has fallen way to the wayside because I got no more outlet anymore and I do help a little bit in the bladder extra feast community on Facebook but I've slowed up because my mental toll has gotten worse and I feel like I'm not a help anymore. I feel like I give out wrong things, you know, but I'm not, I know that. But because of all what's happened in my life, it's just been a struggle after a struggle. I do have good times. I do have a lot of highs, but the majority are lows, and those lows suck. I just wish I didn't struggle at school. I just wish school was a breeze, but it wasn't. Kids found me as a target. They bullied me, harassed me, and I feel so violated from that. And... I just wish I could have st stuck up for myself back then, but I didn't. I didn't know how. And I feel like I'm a weak person because I never stood up for myself. You know, I... I just wish things didn't happen like that. I wish things didn't happen badly in hospital, but they have. I've had nurses repeat things to me about a few male issues that I don't really want to get into t details on here because I don't want YouTube or anybody else to get offended. You know, it's just unfair, really. And I know people are there trying to help and all of that but when I've struggled through my life as a kid and now as an adult I feel like I've still let myself down and that's no good to try and help people I want to try and help people but when I know my head has been playing up been ponding on this for days thinking about making this video because it might help somebody but I don't think it will help anybody I just want to try and explain things in my life that's been happening how I feel and I feel crap because it's just been a drama and I've spoken to other people and their lives have been lucky. Don't get me wrong, their lives have been hard, but they've had a such much luckier lives than what I have. And I know I'm sounding very negative, and parents and people that have blood atrophy don't want to hear the negative side. But reality is, there are dramas that do happen, and someone has to document it and let people know that it's not just all fun and games I wish it was I wish it was just easy to say oh, 
life was is going to be really really easy and you're going to have joyous times and all that which is true but there are going to be sometimes there's going to be dramas there's going to be hell to pay and I've really struggled on how to how to get everything what I need out out I know I'm going to get a lot of criticism on this and it's not going to be nice but that's life this is how I live life this is what's happened in my life and it's been a drama and I just wish I could be more happy but the last couple of days I've just been wandering and thinking about this and I thought to make it because I need to let people know that I'm not okay at the moment and trying to be happy it's a false happiness at the moment and I hope I have helped people but I feel like I haven't and I need to apologize you know but when life gets in the way and when you start thinking about what happened it's hard not to think about the past but it just happens for me and I just wish I was a little normal and I wish I didn't have to stay in my room all the time. I wish I didn't have a catheter. I wish I didn't leak urine all the time. That really does suck for me. That I still sometimes wet the bed or wet myself on really cold days. And I try and keep a routine going for making sure that I've emptied my bladder. But it sucks that... I still wet myself and it's embarrassing, you know, and who wants to be in my life, who wants to be married to someone that wets themselves, you know, it's another thing. I haven't had a girlfriend yet and that makes my life so lonely, but after what my mother said to me when I was a boy. I haven't felt adventurous to go out and find someone or attempt to date or anything because what she said to me as a boy I don't even want to try to go out in the world she looked at me once looked at my man parts and said No woman would want to be with you. Those are her exact words. And... She used to do a lot of... Sexually... Related things about... My manhood. And... How it looked. And... What... what it looks like. Not, I can't help it that I was born with a urological defect that affects, you know, it's not my fault that I can't control my bladder. It's not my fault that I've got to use a catheter. It's not my fault that I smell a urine. I try and minimise all those problems. You know, I just struggle. I've got not many friends. I got no one to really rely on. I try and open up, but I'm bottling things too much. This hurts me a lot, and um, I don't know if I want to continue on you know I know I've got to be positive, but I've just been struggling, and reality is, it's not always ponies and rainbows, 
I wish it was. I really wish it was. Um, some people might not have these struggles and that's great for them. Fantastic. I'm glad to hear. But for those small minimal people that struggle, like I have, it's hard and sad, miserable and I just don't know how to cope anymore. I just don't know how to help anymore. I just wish I was in stuck in my little bubble and I didn't pop it years ago. I wish I was just still in that bubble. Um, yeah, this is what my life has been like and um, living with bladder extrophy for me has been a challenge. And it always will be and always has been. And sometimes it might be a challenge for you guys. Might be. And if it's a challenge, reach out for help. We're always here to help you guys. You guys do amazing work trying to help other people as well. Parents do amazing jobs looking after their children with bladder extrophy. It's a tough, tough thing for the ch children as well for the adults for the parents anybody living with blood or extra fee if you're hurting if you're hurting there's always light at the end of the tunnel it might not seem like there is like I've been through right now but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and um just reach for it. There's people out in the groups that are willing to help mentally. We're not trained professionals, but we can try and lend a hand. I'm trying to lend, I'm trying to reach out at the moment. This is my cry for help, but I don't think it's gonna be answered, unfortunately. So I'll just keep trying, I'll try and help other people and, you know, just to focus on my challenges ahead, um, I'll just struggle along and try and grow up, be a man, grow some testicles, be strong and Keep my chin up, smile, even though it might be a fake smile. This is reality, guys. I'm sorry that it's been so negative, but this is just what sometimes can happen and needs to be documented. And I'm sorry if I've put anybody down in this, but it's what can happen. Some people can go without having dramas, which is great. There are some people like me who will have dramas, who will struggle, whose life has had bad ending, uh, bad things happen, and it's a struggle, and I just need to warn everybody that like I said, it's not always unicorns and rainbows. I'm sorry that this has been a hard video to watch. I'm sorry that this is going to make people, some people upset and not want to watch me anymore. I'm sorry, but this is reality. And am I going to stop making videos like this one? No. I'm going to continue making videos that are about my life as well. I'm not, am I going to stop helping other people when making videos? No, I'm going to be making more related bladder extrophy videos on helping people. You know, I just needed to wander off a little bit and talk about how I've been feeling and how, 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 I've been struggling. Um, 
Am I going to still make good topics? Yes. Um, I'm been trying my hardest to spread the word about my work. It hasn't been reaching out as far as I would like it to be, but it's still early days and I'm hoping to get recognized with helping people because I would love to help people. I just hope I get recognized for the hard work that I'm trying to do. I'm not the smartest cookie in the jar. I haven't been smart at all. Um, and my editing, my video content, uh, creation side of things for all of these haven't been good, I know. But I'm trying. And that's all I'm going to do, is try. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you guys all go now. Um, I am going to edit this video. Going to upload it. And um, I just hope in the next couple of days I feel a lot better than what I have been. And um, yeah, it's been a struggle. A big struggle. Okay, guys, bless you all, blessings, and have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye, everyone. God bless.